Hello, humans. I'm Mr. King. Hello. All right. Okay. Now we are going to talk about ionic equation. So how can we deduce the ionic equation? Okay, based on the chemical equation given. So you see, very easy. So in order to look for the ionic equation, first you have to look for the spectator ions. So to convert chemical equation into ionic equation, okay, we have to remove all the spectator ions. So what are spectator ions? Okay, spectator ions are ions that remain the same before and after. Okay, or so-called ions that do not take part in the chemical reaction at all. Okay, so very easy. So there's one tips for you. So to look for ionic equation, isn't it? Okay, so what you can do is you compare the state symbol. Alright, so basically you just include the elements okay, that have different state symbol before and after. Okay, those that have the same state symbol before and after, this is what we call spectator ions. Alright, you see, let's come into this example. You see, silver nitrate okay, equals reacts with KCl equals okay, to form AgCl solid and potassium nitrate equals. So remember, you see, compare the state symbol. See, first one, silver, initially it was aqueous. See, after, solid. So in this case, we include silver in our ionic equation. Okay, so basically this is how we determine. See, nitrate, aqueous. Nitrate, aqueous. You see, remain the same before and after. So in this case, you know that nitrate it is a spectator ion. So therefore, we do not include nitrate in our ionic equation. Okay, then see potassium initially equals after it is still equals, so remain the same. So we do not include potassium. Then chloride equals chloride solid. See changes in state symbol, so therefore we include chloride. All right, so eventually our equation will look something like this. You see Ag and no three ones. So you know that it is formed from silver ions and nitrate. So when we took away nitrate. So left only with silver. Okay, state symbol equals reacts with take away K left only with Cl chloride equals okay to form AgCl solid. That's it. Here's we see this is how you determine a ionic equation. It looks very simple and easy, isn't it? Ah, so we see this is how we can determine it. Okay, just by comparing the state symbol before and after. All right. Okay, never mind. Let's go to another example. See, given with this, okay, same thing, compare the state symbol. Right, see, barium initially equals. Barium after, solid. Changes of state symbol. So, therefore, we include barium. Nitrate equals, nitrate equals. Remain the same, spectator ion, so we remove. Okay, potassium equals, potassium equals remain the same sulfate equals sulfate solid see changes of state symbol so therefore we include sulfate in our ionic equation so eventually you will get see ba2 plus equals reacts with so2 negative equals to form baso4 solid so this is the ionic equation Alright, okay, pretty easy. Okay, basically just by comparing the state symbol. Alright, okay, last example. See if you look at this. Okay, so this is, this is an example of displacement reaction. Okay, see, solid, zinc. See, zinc, solid, after that, zinc equals undergo changes of physical state. Okay, copper equals copper, solid. Yes, undergoes changes of state symbol. We include sulfate equals sulfate equals. You see, sulfate ions remain the same before and after in terms of the state symbol. So therefore, this is what we call as spectator ion. So remove the sulfate ions. Okay, so eventually you will have something like this. So zinc solid with Cu2 plus equals to form zinc 2 plus and CO. So you see, so this is how the ionic equation looks like.
Hope you guys enjoy this. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.